Open up resources, illustrative math, seventh grade, unit four, lesson six, increasing and decreasing. Number one, for each diagram, decide if Y is an increase or a decrease relative to X, then determine the percent increase or decrease. A. The diagram shows that X is divided into four equal sections and Y is a total of three out of four of those sections. Y is a decrease of one-fourth of X. Since one-fourth is equal to 25%, Y is a 25% decrease of X. B. X is a total of four equal sections and Y is a total of five equal sections. In this diagram, Y is an increase of X by one-fourth of X. Y is a 25% increase of X. Number 2. Draw diagrams to represent the following situations. A. The amount of flour that the bakery used this month was a 40% increase relative to last month. This diagram represents the amount of flour used last month it's divided into 20% sections. Since this month was a 40% increase relative to last month, we can add 40% to last month, making this month's worth 140% compared to last month. B. The amount of milk that the bakery used this month was a 75% decrease relative to last month. This diagram represents the amount of milk that the bakery used last month. And since this month was a 75% decrease relative to last month, we need to remove 75%. If we remove 75% of last month, the remaining section would be 25% of last month. This section represents this month, which is a 75% decrease compared to last month. Number three, write each percent increase or decrease as a percentage of the initial amount. The first one is done for you. A, this year there was 40% more snow than last year. The correct response would be, the amount of snow this year is 140% of the amount of snow last year. B, this year there were 25% fewer sunny days than last year. The number of sunny days this year is 75% of last year's sunny days. C. Compared to last month, there was a 50% increase in the number of houses sold this month. The number of houses sold this month is 150% of the number sold last month. D. The runner's time to complete this marathon was 10% less than the time to complete the last marathon. This marathon's time was 90% of the time of the last marathon. Number 4. The graph shows the relationship between the diameter and the circumference of a circle with the point 1 and pi shown. Find three more points that are on the line. I place the coordinates 0 and 0 for one point, and coordinates 2 and 2 times pi for a second point, and coordinates 3 and 3 times pi for a third point. Number 5. Priya bought x grams of flour. Claire bought 3 eighths more than that. Select all equations that represent the relationship between the amount of flour that Priya bought, x, and the amount of flour that Claire bought, y. x represents Priya and y represents Claire. Since Claire bought 3 eighths more than Priya, y would equal x plus 3 eighths of x, or y would equal x plus 3 eighths x. Since 1x is also 8 eighths x, then y could also equal 8 eighths x plus 3 eighths x, which would be 11 eighths x. So y could equal 11 eighths x.
and y could equal x plus 3 eighths x. Find illustrated math lessons fast. Hashtag, grade level, unit number, lesson number, and the word math. Example, search hashtag 623 math. It will bring you to 6th grade, unit 2, lesson 3. Try it.